Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. In light of everything that's been going on with Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma, just the mass amount of devastation, uh, I am heartbroken by all of that and, and my prayers are continually going out to each and every single one of those impacted by any of those hurricanes, also the wildfires. Now in light of all of that, I wanted to bring up a report uh, about weather warfare and prove to people out there that weather warfare, weather manipulation, does indeed exist and I'm going to prove it to you using a document that was presented to the government by the US uh, uh, or presented to the Air Force uh, about the future modifications in weather now some of you may have seen this report others of you have may have not I have seen this report and went through it before uh, but again in light of what went on I wanted to bring it up so it's fresh in everybody's mind and maybe those who have not heard uh, you know, the, the, the talk on actual weather warfare. Well, here's your proof to say that that indeed does exist. I'm going to toss up on the screen here, a document, and this is straight on the military website here. It says weather as a force manipulator owning the weather in 2025. 2025. This is a future prediction of how by that time they're saying the U.S. Army uh, can own the weather or the Air Force can own the weather. And you can see uh, some of the stuff there. Now, scrolling down a little bit, you can see the table of contents. Uh, some of the stuff that they have in there is why we want to mess with the weather. I'll get into that. What do we mean by weather modification? I'll get into that. How to apply it to military. I'm going to just kind of go over there and concepts. Here's some of the things and I'm briefly going to touch on these, but uh, how to make fog, get rid of fog, make storms, precipitation, uh, ion, ionic sphere modification, space weather modification. These are all part of this document. Uh, but scrolling a little bit, I want to go to the executive summary. And here's the opening of the report because I think it details a lot. But in 2025, U.S. aerospace forces can own the weather by capitalizing on emerging technologies and focusing development of those technologies to war fighting applicants. Such a capability offers the war fighter tools to shape the battle space in ways we never thought possible. It provides opportunities to impact operations across the full spectrum of conflict and is pertinent to all possible futures. The pos uh, the the purpose of this paper is to outline a strategy for the use of future weather modification systems to achieve military objectives rather than to provide a detailed technical roadmap. In other words, they want to use weather in warfare. They are going to use weather in warfare. That is the purpose of this document is to uh, create, outline a strategy for them to do that. So they have that strategy. The technology already exists. They can seed clouds. It's called cloud seeding. I encourage everyone to Google that. That's a video for another day, but there are, there is documentation on that. Uh, it goes to, goes on to say at the bottom here, technological advancements in five major areas are necessary for an integrated weather modification. And it says advanced nonlinear model techniques, um, Number two, computational capability. Three, information gathering and transmission. Four, a global sensor array. And five, weather intervention techniques. So uh, scrolling down a little more, and I'm just, if you want to pause some of this, you can. Uh, but some of it's just, you know, going through uh, here in chapter one. And uh, it kind of gives you like a scenario in why they would use the weather. So basically they say, oh, the drug cartel. OK, we want to stop the drug cartel. The drug cartel likes to fly planes or doesn't like to fly, obviously, during a thunderstorm. So the example was that they could create a thunderstorm uh, and to prevent the cartel. Uh, so that was one example. There's other examples given there also. But scrolling down a little bit to chapter two, required capability. Why would we want to mess with the weather? Good question. Well, they answer it. 
a global, precise, real-time, robust, systematic weather modification capability would provide war fighting with a powerful force manipulator to achieve military objectives. Since weather will be common to all possible futures, a weather modification capability would be universally applicable and have utility across the entire spectrum of conflict. The capability of influence the and if influencing the weather, even on a small scale, could change it from a force degrader to a force manipulator. People have always wanted to be able to do something about the weather. And it goes on to, to label some examples. Uh, scrolling down a little more here. What do we mean by weather modification? Now, this is a pretty strong section, I think, but it says today weather modification is the alteration of weather phenomenon over a little limited area for a limited period of time. That's their definition. Within the next three decades, the concept of weather modification could expand to include the ability to shape weather patterns by influencing their determining factors achieving such a highly accurate and reasonable precise weather modification capability in the next 30 years will require overcoming some challenges uh, but not insurmountable technologies and legal hurdles technically we must have a solid understanding of the variables that affect the weather we must be able to model the dynamic of their relationship map and the possible results of their interactions measure real-time values influence their values and achieve an outcome uh, so there you go. And between now, uh, as of this report put out and 20 and 2005, uh, technological advances in meteorology and the demand for more precise weather by global businesses will lead to the successful identification and, and, uh, Mary, uh, major variables that affect the weather by 2015. We're already past this point. So this is already in existence advances in computational capabilities, modeling techniques, and atmospheric information tracking will produce a highly accurate and reliable weather prediction capable uh, capability uh, validated against real world weather. In the following decade to come, population densities put pressure on the world of worldwide availability and cost of food and water. Uh, it goes on to talk about some of these stuff. So government can use it to bring down rain, if you will, for the crops. So that is kind of it in the nutshell. By 2025, they want to shape the weather patterns altogether. Uh, and that includes, this is a pretty bold statement, uh, climate, precipitation, storms, their effects, fogs, and near space. Uh, those are all part of what they want to do. Uh, so there you have that. Now, a lot of this, some of this, and, and I'm going to kind of scroll the page there, but it gets into uh, precipitation and how to go about it. And some of those things are found later inside this document, uh, but basically telling some of the details of things that we kind of already know. Now, it's not a long report. It's, I think, uh, 50 some odd pages. So I encourage you to check out the rest of that as well. Also on uh, page 23, kind of over there, they give like examples of how to go about making an artificial iospheric mirror that can manipulate the weather. You can see some of them. Another one here, um, the mirrors and all of that and the ionosphere uh, from ships and everything. It's very, very interesting uh, as you get some of the later detail on that. But artificial weather, we all know what that is. Uh, but anyhow, wanted to show you the actual documentation and proof. So with that, uh, there is your proof that they can modify the weather. Now that is one document. I didn't get into the countless other amounts of documents that they have, like I mentioned earlier on cloud seeding, uh, some of those things that the government have already messed with. And look, if this was released, uh, I believe years ago, quite a while back, on 1996, if that was in 1996 that that was released, then can you imagine what kind of technology they have today? We're almost there. We're in 2017. 
18, 19, 20, that's three years from 20, so about, what, eight or so years uh, away from where they supposedly can modify the weather. And look, they're already modifying the weather. This document, I think, obviously, it's an older document, but they're already doing it. That's what the chemtrail people claim. When there's chemtrails and geoengineering in the sky, they're dropping them aluminum, barium, and strontium, supposedly to block the sun rays and make the planet a little cooler. That's their excuse, right? But they're already playing with the weather. And can you imagine other countries? They probably have similar technology as well. Uh, so just something to think about. But if you know someone who doesn't believe in weather modification and that, that, that the weather warfare is not a real thing, this is the video to forward to them because it proves with 100% certainty that weather warfare and weather manipulation and weather modification does exist, especially when you start looking at the massive amount of hurricanes that we've had recently, two of them, uh, Irma, you know, all the way up to a category five, 185 there was even tracked over 200 wind at one point uh, when it was in the Caribbean or um, in the Virgin Islands. I mean, it, it just was nuts. Uh, but one of the most powerful storms, can you just imagine for a moment, maybe some weather warfare may have played into that. Uh, just my two cents there. Anyhow, I wanted to bring you the latest on all of that. Uh, and I had to bring it to you from here. It's just easier to scroll through the document when I go through them. But um, that said, please don't forget to check out my partner at noblegoldinvestments.com. There's a link below. Just click on that link below. Make sure you've got gold and silver and precious metals, these kinds of things, because on a rainy day, you just might need them. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning into my channel. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.